What is up, guys? Welcome back for week nine of the Global Battle Association, the GBA, your Montreal Habsols. Of course, have a two and six record now with a uh, minus 13 differential. This week, we were taking on Wolfie, rematch against the uh, Milwaukee Bewares. And um, you guys are going to like my team name. Hold on a second. Let's, uh, let's get to there. Choosing the battle rules. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Custom tailored for all of you Habsols fans right here. Participating team. Hope you guys can see this on screen. Yeah, that right there. That is the team name that we have. <laughs> All right, let's pick this team. Uh, I have a dedicated lead this match. It's uh, Sash counter Zoroark. I'm expecting Konk this time. I really hope he brings Konk. All right, so let the battle begin. Um, yeah, and we'll uh, we'll adjust what he has in consequence. Let's uh, just bring up a notepad really quickly in case I'm, I need it. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna have to get my calc out too. Where is my team versus Dolphy? Here we go. All right, pull that up. Go. Waiting on him. And uh, so that my calc's open. Everything's good to go. Got my notepad. Yeah, we're all set, guys. Uh, I hardly got any sleep, so do excuse me if I sound a little bit groggy. Um, my mic should sound better now than the past couple of videos because uh, I actually adjust. I, had, I was on the wrong setting. I was on the setting for uh, for recording for two people, um, and I didn't actually ever record with a second person because we didn't get around to it. My PC crashed um, and died <laughs> when I tried to do that the last time, so I never switched it back. Good luck, have fun, man. You just message me on di Discord, and uh, yeah, we are uh, we are so ready to go. Uh, even though I'm tired as hell. Uh, so, little explanation, we are Life Orb Darm. Life Orb Darm puts, uh, if he decides to bring the berry on the Jellicent again, what's cool is that I, uh, I can blitz into U-turn and pop the berry, guaranteed, uh, if he's max defense. And I can U-turn out into my Zapdos and start setting up screens. And, uh, screens with my, uh, my Scallopede set is, uh, is pretty scary. We are, uh, Spec Sylveon as well. Um, I believe we are Power Up Punch, uh, Megalopony as well. So... Couple of huge threats to his team, honestly. I have four pretty much uh, destructive mons to his team. So let's take a look at what he brought. Um, almost right, I think. Uh, well, he didn't bring the Mega Absol. That's kind of iffy on that. So no Mega Absol this time around. Um, where is Mega Absol? Get rid of that. And uh, get rid of uh, Muck. Okay, so no Muck either. All right. Uh, so now we have the uh, the Tangrowth, as well as the Entei. Ooh. All right, so let's move... Uh, where are you? Uh, Tangrowth can go here. And... Uh, uh, yeah, all right, there we go. All right, we're good to go. Um, why isn't Tangrowth moving? Okay, there we go. Uh, so yeah, uh, regardless of what Elites, I'm leading with uh, Yato. And I'm disguising it as uh, as Reen. That was the game plan. And we'll go with that. Always seems to work for some reason. Um, he's got more physical attackers this time. Uh, he's got the Conk as well as the Entei. If he leads off with Conk, I'm clicking counter immediately. Uh, if he leads off with Tangrowth, I'm switching. If he leads with Entei, I'm clicking counter. If he leads with uh, Jellicent, I am clicking Knockoff. Same thing with the Bronzong. Bronzong, I might actually click Taunt on. And uh, Zerkatry, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. But I might just click Knockoff. So, which I'm actually going to bring up my Zoroark on the Calc real quick. There we go. How much would I do to a Zerkatry? Zerkatry. Uh, regular set at level 50. 44 to 52, not bad. And that's with a Psycheum. All right, so he leads off with Entei. So, uh, I think counter. Counter sounds fine. Um, physical attacker, I would get rid of it immediately. Huge, huge threat to my team. Yeah, so I'm going to click counter. Let's see if he falls for it. If he just straight up attacks, then we're looking pretty solid. I don't know if he knows if Lopini gets counter or not. I don't even know myself. Why don't I? Why, why don't I know this? Uh, Lopini, do you get counter? 
you don't. Okay. I don't know if he's going to end up looking that up if he ends up switching. We'll see. Ah! Just attack me, wolf. Yes. Good. Connect. Burn? Does he get the burn? Did he not get it? Boom. Goodbye, Ante. <clears throat> One mon down. Alright. So that's already looking pretty good. Uh, if he goes conk, I might consider just hard switching into my Sylveon. Um, Shadow Ball is looking very spammable against this team. Like, very, very spammable. Uh, we are specs, of course, as I did mention earlier. Uh, if I can catch the Bronzong on the Switch, that's amazing. So Zoroark's still alive. Yato's still chilling in here. Got another kill for me. Good job, Yato. Didn't get burned either from Sacred Fire. Uh, no naps. This is, uh... Oh, Zerkatrain. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um... I think I might just taunt. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for taunt, honestly. Uh, that prevents any kind of... Well, this is still one of his Zemons, right? Uh, yeah. So that wouldn't stop, like, a Z-terrain, which is really, uh, really, really, really scary. Uh, I'm actually just gonna go for Memento. Uh, as he's Scarf Thunderbolt, okay. So he gets a beast boost. Um, we're gonna see Zerkatry at max, uh, let's say max modest, plus one, T-Bolt, to my Sylveon. Knew he should live, right? 84 max, yeah. Okay, so we'll go to Nui. Nui's the safest play. And uh, Hyper Voice destroys this thing. Uh, he's probably going to switch to Zong. I don't really care. Uh, I'm just going to go for Hyper Voice. I can't risk anything with this thing in. It's Choice Scarf, then I can't uh, I can't take any risks with that. Um, it's looking like Scallopede can win. I just need to weaken the Conkelder. And something that does that very well is going to be Lopany. Uh, unless he, of course, decides to click uh, Drain Punch on any given turn. Then that would suck. Uh, we'll get rid of his... Uh, no, mine. My uh, Zoroark off the layout. Aaron Zong should have Shadow Balled, but uh, I wasn't taking any risks with the uh, with the Zerkatrian. So we're going to get off a of voice right here. Good to know that he's Scarfed. Uh, this is going to do an immense amount of damage. Um, and we do see that, uh, well, we do see that we don't see leftovers. So, what this means is that I can freely click Hyper Voice again, if I want to, and it's a 2 hit KO from here. Uh, and if he decides to rock up, then he has nothing to deal with this after. So, I'm going to go for it. And if he decides to Gyro Ball, then so be it, but I'm fairly certain this is the correct play as he's gonna go for a trick room okay that's fine uh he doesn't have a switch in right now to my uh to my hyper voice so i'm assuming he's just gonna attack which is why i'm gonna go into chise switch it in we are light clay dual screens with static um so that was the first turn of room right there and um he's got four Four turns left. So Chise comes in. I don't think you'd switch anything in here. Uh, what's nice about his room is that it makes his Zerkatry slower than everything else. So it's not a threat right now, as long as the room is up. And uh, so I'm going to go into Zapdos. I'll probably end up going for a, uh, for a Reflect first. We're going to get out of here, as uh, Sylveon's a big threat to his team. Gonna get in Zapdos as he's gonna go for an Iron Head. Obviously, that's gonna bounce off. We have the chance to get the Static Para uh, as we do immediately, which is awesome. Uh, and I'm going to go for a uh, Light Screen, I believe, because now his biggest threat at the moment is the Zerkatry. So, Light Screen is it. It is. Everything else is not remotely a threat to me. Like, yes, his conk can be annoying, but uh, I don't even think it knocks out Zapdos from this range. Uh, Conkelder. Uh, I should probably turn on my HP bar, huh? 
uh, my old one, which is way better <laughs> than my new one. Uh, so he's at 29-ish. Uh, Con Kelder, uh, Max Attack, Adamant, uh, Rock Slide, let's say, or Stone Edge. Wiggles, who's this? This is the Tangrowth, cool. So I'm going to get up a Light Screen immediately. Uh, if he goes for a knockoff, that's fine. I'm going to get off a, uh, a Volt Switch on the following turn, but I am going to get up a Reflect first. So uh, I just want to see Zapdos. Quick Calc. Stone Edge, level 50. Max Attack Adamant to 77 to 91, so I have to be careful because uh, I'm just max HP, max Spadef. Uh, that was to take on the Zerka Tree a little bit better. So we're just going to go for the Reflect, and then we're going to Volt out. He's going to go for Toxic. I don't care about that. That is fine by me. And um, we're going to get up a Reflect. And then on the following turn, we're going to go for a... Uh, for a Volt Switch. Get on out of here. And probably bring in Scallopede, honestly. Uh, how many rooms of... Uh, how many turns of room, rather, does he have left? Um, that's his full team. Tangrowth. Uh, Trick Room turn has one left. Okay. So, we're going to go for Volt Switch. And he's going to get to go first, which is awesome for us. He's faster than us right now, but not on the following turn. So, I can bring in my Scallopede. I can go for a Swords Dance, and I can start putting a lot of offensive pressure on his team. My Reflect is up for many, many turns. Many, many turns. So, I think Scallopede just went... He's going to go for Protect. Um, that's fine. I don't really care. Toxic Protect. That's cool. Uh, if that's the case, then this thing is seriously walled by Scallopede. So he stalls out a turn of uh, of my screens, which is just slightly annoying, but it's okay. I'm going to go for a Volt Switch, and we're going to Volt directly into uh, our Scallopede. It doesn't matter what he brings in. Um, if he brings in Zerkatry, Scallopede still uh, comes in. Uh, I can bring in my Sylveon as well, because he doesn't have switch-ins to Hyper Voice at this point. And we know that his Tangrowth is an AV because he just revealed Toxic Protect. So there's that. And uh, Jelly, let me count Jelly from Hyper Voice. Jellicent, uh, Max Defense, yeah, so no Spadef versus Sylveon. Uh, Hyper Voice does 62 to 74. Now that's a calc. <laughs> uh, Tangrowth just drops if it has no Spadef. So he's going to get out of here. He's going to go into his uh, known apps, which is the uh, the Zerka tree again. As we're going to get off a nice Volt Switch. Nice chunky Volt Switch right here. It's going to do a good 20-ish percent. And uh, I can go back into my Sylveon again. And he has no switch-ins at this point. And I think this sweeps. Legitimately. As we're going to click Hyper Voice. I'm seriously under the impression that this just sweeps. So, Volt Switch is going to bounce off. He can sack off the Bronzong if he wants to. That's fine by me. Aaron Zong is going to get sacked. So, again, under Room, his Zerkatry is not an issue. And outside of Room, um... It can be a little bit problematic, but I just need to keep uh, Sylveon decently healthy. And obviously, uh, my Scallopede can get speed boots. Speed boosts. Boosts. Wow. <laughs> I can't speak. Um, so, Zerk is still alive. We just got rid of the uh, the Bronzong, which is something we had a lot of trouble with last time. Uh, how many turns on my screens do I have? Four on Reflect, three on Light Screen. Okay. So, I'm just going for Hyper Voice. Choice Specs Hyper Voice, gonna do a lot to this thing. Uh, yep, do we see the berry? We see Cursed Body again, uh, and we do see the berry once again. Same bring as last time. So we pop the berry, the berry's gone. Is he going to uh, Trick Room? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, tempted to just go into Zapdos. Um, wait, what happened? Oh, I clicked Fight. And it locked me in, didn't it? Oh no. Oh, that's annoying. 
I accidentally clicked fight. And because I'm choice locked and he got curse body, I'm not going to be able to hit him now. So I have to go for struggle. Wow, that sucks. I gotta take a needless 25% right there. How many turns of light screen do I have? One. So if he goes Zerkatry now, I'm screwed. That's so dumb. Um. Okay, so I think I may need to go into Shiro. No. Hold on. Can Darm take a hit? Probably not, right? <laughs> uh, Zerkatry. Uh, level 50. Oh! Actually, you can. If he's modest, I take 102 max. Uh, which means that Lopini probably takes it even better, right? Mega Reen. Um, 88 max, yeah. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, so we're gonna go to Reen. I just lost a turn there for no reason. That's so stupid. So he's gonna switch uh, into No Naps, which is the, uh, the Zerka Tree, of course. Um, if he decides to click Thunderbolt, I'll live more than likely. Um, regular Lop to Mega Lop doesn't gain any Spadef, right? No, it doesn't. So I think I'm actually better off staying in regular in case he has Dazzling Gleam. Then again, if he's Dazzling Gleam, I just go to... I just go to either Darm or uh, Scallopede after. It's fine. Uh, second to last Trick Rumor. Sylveon wins. So long as I get rid of the Zerka Tree. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can Mega here. I'm okay with Mega Evolving. Um, yeah, I'm okay with Mega Evolving and just clicking uh, Return. On this turn. This is going to withdraw, so that's going to give me... Um, that's fine if Wiggles comes in. That's alright. Alright, so we're going to get off the return right here. Uh, it's going to do a clean amount of damage. He has Rocky Helmet. That's nice. Uh, the Reflect wears off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly into Chisei here. Um, do I want to be in with something that's slower than the Zerk? Uh, actually, I'm going to go into, um, into Shiro. I'm going to go into Shiro directly. Uh, the reason being that if he doubles into Zerka Tree, I'm screwed. He goes for Leaf Storm, and, I'm, and he misses, uh, and the uh, the Trick Room is down. It is down. Uh, so I'm going to get up a Swords Dance right here. Um, how much does plus two Earthquake do to Conk? Kelder versus uh, Scolipede. Shiro. <sighs> Does nothing. Plus two does uh, to max HP, 51 to 60. Does he kill me with anything? Fire punch. Punch. Uh, max attack adamant, let's say. I guess if he's stone edge, but then I just go into zap, I get up a light screen, and then, then I go into to Nui, and I win. Yeah, okay. So we're going to click Swords Dance, it's the best play. He's going to withdraw Wiggles, he's going to go into No Mouth. Alright, that's the uh, Jellicent. I'm not letting you get up a Trick Room, my friend. I'm sorry. No. It's not happening this time, I have the Darkium. We're going to knock this thing out. We are going to knock this thing cleanly out. Right here. So let's go for the Z Throat Chop, Black Hole Eclipse. Click that Z move. Alright, is this our first time going for a Z-move? Um, might be. 
It might be this season. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't remember now. But anyway, we're, we're getting off the Black Hole Eclipse. We're killing the, uh, the Jellicent. And, um... That should be game because he can't get up a trick room anymore. So all I need to do is... Um, the Jellicent's dead. The Jellicent is dead. Um, where is it? Jellicent, gone. Uh, all I need to do is attack the uh, the Conkelder with Earthquake. Uh, even if he's something like Bulk Up, it doesn't really matter because I can still go Darm after. Uh, or Sylveon, anything like that. So he's going to go Conk, conk now. Uh, and I'm going to go for Earthquake. Basically, all I need to do is get up a light screen with the uh, with the Zapdos, and I'm fine. All of a sudden, I'm okay. So. Scarf Zerk is annoying. <laughs> it's very annoying. And it pairs with this team really nicely, because every time the room is down, it becomes a threat again. So, we're just going to Earthquake here. I'm going to do half to this thing, at least. And, uh, yeah, about half. Sounds right. Bulk up, yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. You can be bulk up all you want, my friend. That doesn't change a damn thing. I'm gonna get the speed boost, and we're gonna earthquake him again. Uh, obviously, there's a chance we could kill him if I get an absolute max roll, because that did do 55 just now. So I could do 45 with a crit, uh, w without a crit, sorry, with uh, just a max roll. So, we do get a lot of damage off right there. He gets a berry, which is what? Another damn berry. A figgy berry? <laughs> Aye, Papa. Uh, he's going to go for knockoff, but we are a Z move, so this isn't going to do too much. Uh, he gets a crit right there. So, yeah. Uh, and I'm just going to go for another earthquake. Right here on this turn. And uh, we're going to get off another 40 ish percent on this conk. As he's going to go for another knockoff. And he's going to knock me out, but that's okay. Shiro goes down. Where is Shiro? There it is. Alright, so we're going to go into Zapdos, Chisei. And uh, we're going to click light screen. And we're going to be okay. So light screen goes up. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what he is. He's going to go for knockoff, obviously, on the next turn. Um, and Tangrowth being physically defensive means that it doesn't take a hit from Sylveon. So, I'm pretty sure Sylveon just wins. Um, I might go Darm first, though. I'm not sure. We'll see. Had I gone for another Swords Dance there, that would have been nice. But that's okay. Poison Jab would have 2 KO'd. But I wasn't not gonna run Earthquake when he has Muck. Obviously, X Scissor does a lot, but... I just needed to make sure that I could kill the muck this time. <laughs> I wasn't uh, I wasn't playing games with that thing. So we're going to get up a light screen right here. Let's see if he bulks up again. Goes for knockoff. Okay, that's fine. He's going to get rid of our light clay. And uh, we're going to get static, which is fine. That doesn't really change anything. Uh, knocks off my light clay. The poison doesn't take me out, which means that I'm actually going to be able to go for a reflect. Uh, or I can Volt Switch and kill this thing. And Volt Switching and killing it and then going Sylveon might be my play. Because uh, now my light screen's up. Yeah, I'm going to Preserve Differential and go for Volt Switch. Because he goes for Mach Punch. Okay, so I figured he had it, but... <clears throat> Alright. So Mach Punch. Um, knew he's looking kind of low. Um, a little bit scary, now that I'm thinking about it. With my light screen up, though, uh, Zerkatree shouldn't be able to hit, um, uh, shouldn't be able to hit Garm for too much. Uh, I'm just thinking about, I don't have Fake Out, uh, and my Reflect isn't up, and he's bulked up. Darm. Darmanitan. Manitan, Flare Blitz. I have eight turns of light screen, right? So I just need to win in the next eight turns. That's all I need to do. Um, versus Conk, Conkelder. 
Guts bulk up makes sense. Um, max attack, adamant, mock punch, mock punch uh, at plus one does 61 max. Okay, we're gonna go into Shizuo. And we're gonna click Flare Blitz. He has a chance to get full para too. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, Zapdos is dead. So the uh, the crit knockoff was actually pretty big. He's gonna go for Mach Punch. It's not gonna knock me out, obviously. As we're gonna get off a of Flare Blitz right here. This is gonna take out the uh, the Conkelder. And uh, I could see him going into uh, Zerkatry. The only thing is, if he does, he has to pick between Volt Switch and um, and Thunderbolt. And Sylveon cleans anyway. Because I have too many turns of Light Screen. So I should win. Uh, I know Darm's about to go down. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that Darm's about to go down. He might think I'm Scarfed. He might just think I'm Scarfed. And in which case, like, Scarfed Darm would outspeed him. So he might, he might be thinking about getting off the um, the Rocky Helmet damage with the Tangrowth. <laughs> I think that's what he's thinking. I'm just like hearing Wolfie's voice in my head right now. <laughs> he's like, if he's Scarfed, I have to go Tangrowth. I can take the hit, uh, and he'll die to Recoil and Rocky Helmet. And then in which case, Sylveon just comes in and clicks Hyper Voice, and he needs to Mega Crit uh, the... Okay, he's going to go straight into Zerkatry. All right. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna click Flare Blitz again. Because I believe I have five turns of Light Screen after this. Mock Punch, Mock Punch, and this turn. Yeah. Um, no, I have four. But that's more than enough. There's the Thunderbolt. <clears throat> Sylveon can take. Sylveon, Nui, from Zerkatry. Zerk, uh, plus one. Plus one, modest, uh, Thunderbolt, level 50. Uh, behind a light screen, I take absolutely nothing. Uh, so as long as he doesn't crit me, I win. Um, I take 42 max behind a light screen, and I'm not at 42. So I'm going to bring in my Sylveon. Um, yeah. And we're just going to Hyper Voice. And uh, what's really good is that... Um, even if for whatever reason he goes Tangrowth and it lives, and I run out of light screen, let's say. Uh, well, no, actually. I need to win right now. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I need to win right now. Darm is dead. Yeah, the crit knockoff really sucked, because I could have taken two and won. Um, yeah, because I would have just Earthquaked the, uh, the Tangrowth repeatedly. Until he decided to knock me out. There's the Thunderbolt. Don't crit me, please. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't full para. Don't full para. Whoo! Okay. Alright, my light screen is still up, which means I should be able to take a, 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 a Leaf Storm from Tangrowth. Tangrowth. Now I just have to break through the para. Physically defensive with Leaf Storm. Level 50. Behind a light screen. Should do 21 max. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to increase my odds here. Um, no. How many? T if I have two turns of light screen left, I have three. Yeah, I'm just going to hyper voice. I'm just going to hyper voice. He's going to go for the leaf storm. He's going to miss. That makes up for the the, uh, the par paralysis right there. And Tangrowth goes down, and we win week 9 of the GBA. Good game to Wolfie. That was, uh, that was a doozy. A lot of, like, random hacks here and there. Uh, the crit knockoff, the para with the Thunderbolt. I got extremely terrified there at the end, because if that full para, I lost. Uh, and yeah, uh, so that was, uh, that was quite stressful, but we do pull it out to a win in our favor. And, uh...
that's uh, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below as usual. Go and check out Wolfie's channel. Uh, great VGC player. If you guys didn't catch our first battle as well, go and check that out. Uh, a couple of really crucial turns uh, that turned the tide of the battle and some uh, mistakes in prep from from my part. But uh, I really feel back on my game now. I feel like uh, I, ever since last week with Jolt, uh, and things have been going good elsewhere too, like March Madness, uh, by the time this goes up, at the NPL as well. Uh, I've been getting wins uh, pretty often, actually, so uh, so I'm content with that. I think, uh, I don't know what it was that sparked it, but I'm really happy about it, and I hope you guys are too to see us winning. So, uh, and if you are, make sure to leave uh, a like down below as usual, like I said. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.